Hey guys, uh, Colin Rojas here with Rojas Woodworking. Today we're going to be going over step number one in building a vacuum table for your CNC. This, this design is tailored towards my CNC that I have in my shop. It's a Bob CNC KL744 with the extension kit. So it's a total of a 4x8 CNC. So first off, in the design process, you want to make sure that you have a good border around your material. This is crucial because the first thing that you're going to need to do before carving the grid out is you're going to need to get the material bolted down to your table. I used HDPE for this. It's basically just a sheet of plastic. It's very important to get it bolted down before doing anything else because it will warp, twist, cup on you, all of that. And so you wanna make sure that your first tool paths are gonna be carving out the hex bolts and the holes themselves so you can get your material fastened down. So with that being said, the first thing that I did is I went to Home Depot and I pre-purchased the bolts that I was going to use and I made sure to measure them the hex the hex head as well as the diameter of the bolt and I placed them all over as you can see around the perimeter of my material as well as in between each one of the phases I potentially went a little bit overboard but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to have to redo this step or potentially have to junk the material altogether. So that is step one. And that will also be step one when we go out to the shop. That's going to be the first tool paths that I run. It's going to be the pocketing tool path that cuts out the hexagon shape as well as the drilling tool path that cuts out the hole that you can see right there that my cursor is going over that the bolt slips down uh, into. So next step is going to be getting the grid pattern laid out. Um, so you can do any grid pattern that you would like. I did one in, about one inch by one inch, whatever you can fit on your table. Uh, this, this design, like I said, is tailored towards my machine. Your grid might be different in size. You might use a different size bit. In this uh, in this cut, I used a quarter inch bit, and each one of my squares is just a little bit over an inch. I'm not going to go over how I made these grids. If you're pretty savvy with V-Carve, uh, you should be able to, to figure this out. Again, if you guys can't and would like me to make another video, please leave a comment below, and I'd be happy to do that. The last step is going to be carving out the vacuum insert holes. These can be positioned anywhere within your phase. These are going to be dependent again on your machine. So these can be moved left to right, up, down. I just centered mine. And yeah, so we can walk through a quick uh, preview here where we, let's see, let's go over to here and we'll watch the tool pass together here. So this is the surfacing tool pad. Let me speed it up here a little bit. Right through that. So keep in mind this is not in order. This is just purely a representation of what it should look like. Carving out, so I guess I'll speed it up here a little bit. So whew, that went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. But anyways, uh, like I said, first tool path is gonna be getting all your holes put in for your bolts. Next is gonna be surfacing then putting in the grid pattern and finally cutting out your holes for your vacuum insert. So I hope that helped. Again, leave a comment below if you guys would like me to elaborate even further. 
So let's go out to the shop and see the machine in action. Thank <laughs> you.